welcome back. So let's play Legend of Twilight. I can hop now. So I'm sure there's many things that we can do. So we're just gonna have to work our way out and about and see what those many things are. I actually think there's very little that we can do down here anymore. And we're actually pretty well uh, situated to being free to just straight up explore the map. I still feel like there'd be more down there, but I, I'm quite sure there isn't. Ah, lag bushes! Okay, so we went up before. I don't think there was anything up here of note. So. What was in here? School! School was in here! We can go up here now. I'm gonna take a quick look down and around, just to make sure there's nothing down here for us. I don't think there is. But I would like to take a gander just to be sure. Nope, nothing there. Now, I will note that in comparison to Link's Awakening, which this game is... Paying homage to, I suppose, is the best phrasing for that. Can't do anything down here either. Um, movement in this game is a lot slower. Like, Rumia does not move as fast. And you don't swing your sword as fast either. Like, one of the big things from Link's Awakening is that you can just sit there and go, Whoa! with your sword, like, a thousand frickin' miles an hour. And you can't do that in here. You just get, Hey, we can go down here. And we got a key! We got the third dungeon key! That's actually important and stuff. I'm glad we came this way. And that is where we draw the... Draw the line at the end of the... Places of which we can eat. So now we're just going to have to loop our way back. Yeah, I can't go up here. Why was I thinking we could go up here? Dang it. I think one of the reasons that we... The accepted strategy, I should say, is just kind of hold your sword out and walk into dudes does actually come from, I, I guess, really just the difficulty of hitting dudes with it anyway, but that's something even looking at the various other Zelda games between um, the original Zelda, Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, and how the sword was handled. Of course, in the original Legend of Zelda, when you swung your sword, you it only stabbed forward. That's depressing. You could only stab forward, and it locked you in place. Very, very bad for giving you control over movement and stuff. Um, Link's a Link to the Past, on the other hand, did still lock you in place, but it didn't lock you in place for very long, and it gave your swing a very wide berth in front of you. Cat balls. Which d did make it very, very easy to hit enemies, and still dodge and move around and stuff. Um, Link's Awakening, on the other hand, did let you swing while you were moving, so that was nice. I'm not going down there. But it did not give you as wide a berth as uh, Link to the Past did. And it was always, like, off to one side like this, instead of being an arc directly in front of you. Which did make it a little bit awkward to hit things with, and I think it's one of the reasons I was never as fond of the controls, the fighting, in that game. 
and then add to that in this game. You look useful. Add to that in this game, not only do you have the awkward swing ranged thing. I mean, I guess it's like always in the same direction. It's always counterclockwise. But not only do you have like that kind of awkward swing, level three begins. But it's also slower and not spammable, so it's just harder to do. So it's a lot easier to just like walk into guys. I could hit that if I wanted to. Just to the left. Okay, I'm gonna be going up there eventually. That is a locked door. I'm getting that money. I'm thinking when I'm done with this dungeon, I can maybe go buy that bow and arrow. The bow and arrow, by the way, if memory serves, is a purely optional thing to have in the game. But it's nice. I do not know if I am in need of hitting you or not. Feel like I will. Yes, go me. Oh, you guys give me your money. Was hoping there was a fake door on the right. Didn't appear to be. Another fancy puzzle we have to solve. Which is going to be exceptionally difficult. I'll go ahead and unlock this door. Even though there's nothing I can do in there yet. Those gray guys are a little awkward. Hey, map. Well, that's an alright looking map. Dang it. Dang it. Yeah, alright. That makes things interesting. Like, they do their best to let you know where these things are. The necessary ones, anyway. I feel like I need to hit you. What with the giant arrows and all. It's stingy. Taking two hits. What's wrong with you people? Yeah, good thing I hit that switch. It was a good decision, me. There's nothing in the room to the right that we can do right now. We have to approach it from the bottom. Ow. Dumb old fairy. The doors aren't always in the middle of the rooms either. That's nice. Interesting. Ah, oh, the crap's your name. Is it Soddery? Soddery. And once again, with the. Oh, oh that's not going to end well for anybody. Now, since she's way up there, you, of course, can't hit her normally. You have to reflect these back at her. Ugh. Which is sometimes easier than others. One of those is gonna hit her!
Urgh. Aiming. Now, if you hadn't guessed, the things do reflect off about how you would expect. Um, I guess you could, con like, consider the front of you is rounded. And they will bounce off, like, accordingly. Nope, walked into the side of that one. Yeah! And then they all turned into fairies, and they were all way the crap up there is that really white. Come here. Come here. I want your healy goodness inside of me. Come here. Yeah. Random kill room, I guess. Nothing much in there. Jumble of a room. This room's kind of neat, because you go like, Hey, the exit's over there. And you look at this for half a second and go, Wait, I can't go this way. Oh, I see what's going on here. It's like a little spinny thing. Oh, hey, you know, I think I remember this room. Well. Oh. Hey! And as I said before, the item you get generally is something that the mini-boss used, and though the mini-boss didn't actually use, use this, so to say, it is Sotary's thing, really, to be able to look into the hearts of others. And so what we've gained is what amounts to a lens of truth. Yeah, look at that. Look at all of that truth we're seeing. Hidden in by the heart of the dungeon itself. Hey, I don't know how these heart things work, man. I'm not gonna complain, though. It lets me not fall down pits. So you know what? This thing can do whatever it wants to do. Dude, I got 155! I got enough! Yeah! Gotta go buy me a bow and arrow. I couldn't go that way if I wanted to. I could jump over that first pit, but I can't jump over the second one. Ah, you take two hits! Now, I'm going back this way because I'm quite certain there's something this way that I could take care of. I don't know for certain. Oh, ah, I, I, did, I did the roundhouse thing on ya. It means you're supposed to die. Actually, thinking about it, I'm going back this way. I don't think I actually need to go back this way. I'm going the long way around. Though, if you were so inclined, there are some hidden passages here. And that bush contains a bomb. I think it always contains a bomb, too. Oh, how am I supposed to get back here? Hey! Also, much like Link's Awakening, you can actually set different things onto your A and B. You don't always have a sword active. Well, you don't always have to have a sword active. Well po. Well po. That's funny, and I don't know why.
Okay, there, I hit the switch. I wish I could jump up. Okay, so yeah, as it turns out, I don't think there was anything at all over here I really needed to do. Yeah, I, yeah no, there was nothing over here that I really needed to do. Hmm, whoops. I still can't do anything over here, even with my lens of truth. So we're gonna have to go find a switch to hit somewhere. And the closest switch is actually this one right here. However, in hitting that switch, we can now can no longer go that way. Or can we? I find it interesting that when you have Satori's eye activated, you don't do the front flip when you jump. You just kind of hop. Can't just be hopping all willy-nilly. Your hitbox is a little odd in this game, as far as, like, falling off pits and stuff goes. Boss key. He's like, if your bottom is even just a little bit off the edge, you will fall. But they, like, don't let you go any higher. That feels like more an issue with pit detection. Personally. More so than, like, your hitbox proper. Because that tells me that your hitbox is actually square. Which is good! No worrying about fancy things, you just know that... Yeah, I need to not get hit. I'm alright with that. I don't know if that switch needed to be hit, but it was hit. Later. Oh, the switch fell. That was interesting. Okay, now, even though we can go fight the boss, I'm going to go here because we also have a key left over. I imagine we could have done this earlier, but, uh, oh well. There's not really a huge amount over here other than money. But hey, man, money. I mean, money. So with that done, You know, I also find it very interesting that the bosses in this game don't necessarily need the item that you got from the dungeon to beat them. Like, hey, just because I got Sodery's eyeball in this dungeon doesn't mean I need Sodery's eyeball to beat the boss. That's interesting. I kind of like it. And you're the giant catfish that, uh... I think you're the cat... Was it Mei Ling that had to fight you? You were introduced in one of the fighting games, and I think that's the only time you had ever been seen. So, sup, giant catfish. When you fight this guy, he will jump in the air. Do not be on the ground when he lands, or you will be stunned. And he will walk into you. And that will hurt about as much as a giant catfish walking into you can hurt. Now, if you're really on the ball, you can get two hits in per jump. But that's about it, and that's really about all there is to the boss fight. I 
I like this game. Like, it doesn't have a huge production value or anything, but it's just... It's just this charmingly simple little game. I mean, like, look at these little bump sprites and crap. Look at Rumia, for Pete's sake. That is just packed with charm. Like, the game could be programmed a little bit better, I feel. But, like, I don't think there's really much else I'd change. And hey, we get our next instrument! Wait, that's not an instrument. This is a shell. What are we collecting? I guess the second two look like shells. That first one isn't a shell, though. That first one's an instrument. You agree, don't you, Aya? Like, what the crap are we even doing? Oh well. It's Rumi's quest, man, who knows. Until next time, everyone.